What's up guys? My name's Jonathan. This is my Canon and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canoneer. Now today we've got a super fun video that you guys have been excited for for a little while and I was too up until the fact that these things didn't quite work exactly like I wanted them to. Our discarding fence sabos. Now I'm going to show you guys in a different kind of video today. I'm going to be doing some voiceover and just kind of showing you guys some highlights about how these things work and what the shots look like. Because there's some really cool things to see, but they didn't quite work exactly like they should. So that being said, if you guys see any way throughout the video that you can maybe help me redesign these and get them to work like they should, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do this again, print some more, and we'll get these things working like they should in the future. We'll try out all kinds of crazy designs until we get one of these things working like they should. Now I'll bring you guys in for a closer look at our discarding fin sabos and how ours are put together here in just a second. But before we do, I'd like to give a shout out to Varden's Body Shop in Fairview, Tennessee for helping us out with our targets today. If you guys are in Fairview or around Fairview and you need some body work on your car, check them out. I'll drop all their links in the description below. Now I'm also going to introduce to you guys a brand new thing that we're going to be trying out here. You guys contacted me on our last rocket tank video. If you haven't seen that, it's super neat. I'll link it up here as well. If you guys wanted to send me some things to shoot out of our cannon here. So I'm going to introduce kind of a new segment. I think we're going to call it maybe You Create, We Canon, something along those lines. So 38 millimeters. If you guys want to make something for our Canon here, I'm going to drop all the information where you guys can send those to me, make five or six of them somewhere around in there. You can let me know if you want to test them for accuracy, shoot for range, how far they go. You can let me know if you want us to shoot them against some things just to see how they blow them up. All that kind of cool stuff. That'll be a fun thing that hopefully we'll be able to do in the future. And you guys can send me some things to shoot out of our cannon here and we'll test out some big projectiles that you guys make. Now we'll head over to the range after I bring you guys in for a close look at how our sabos work and start shooting some things out. But before we do any of that, if you guys haven't done so already, go ahead and drop down below and hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you're going to want to keep up with all the cool stuff that we've got coming out in the future that we're going to be shooting with our cannon here and shooting out of our cannon. So I'll bring you guys in for a closer look and then I'll meet you guys over at the range. Okay guys, so this is the discarding fin sabo version that I've come up with. It's got a penetrator round in the middle that's made out of 5 16 mild steel that's sharpened to a point here. And our 3D printed fins are over at the other end that are epoxy, five minute epoxied in here. This is gonna be our weak point. I think if I put a pin in here in a future video, this might help. So this is what our penetrator round looks like. You guys can see our fins. Pretty easy on that one. And it goes right back in the middle of our pedals here. Now our pedals, there's three of them. I'll show you guys that as well. You can see where they're put together here. And those pedals, in theory, when they come out of the cannon, will spread apart. Now they're held together with some black vinyl tape, it's pretty easy to break apart, and some rubber bands. Now we're going to experiment some different ways to hold these things together to see which one works best to shoot them out of our cannon here. Now in theory, these things should come out, the pedals will come apart, and the penetrator will continue on straight into our target, whatever that happens to be. But these need a little bit of work. so. Before we start loading things up, I'm also going to show you guys, because I know you're wondering, we've got these base plates to go behind here. This is the exact same size diameter as our Canon. It's going to sit back here. These are made out of flexible TPU. They're half an inch thick. We're going to put two of them behind each one of our Sabo here, so it doesn't just you know, fire out of the Canon with no space around it. Um, and this is also going to hopefully shield and cushion our fins over there at the range. So we'll meet you guys over at the range. We'll get one of these loaded up, and we'll see how they work. Okay guys, so here's our first shot. Hear that penetrator just whack off the car hood there. Unfortunately, you can see the PLA pedals and the PLA fins just shatter into a thousand little bits and pieces. The penetrator just bounces off there, no fins attached. So I hadn't quite figured out what was going on there. You can see all the little bits and pieces of plastic confetti go everywhere. So we just went ahead and loaded up another Sabo the exact same style to see what was going on. And the exact same thing happened pieces of plastic just go flying everywhere, the penetrator comes flying in, no fins attached. So at this point I'd figured out that they weren't quite holding together very well, so I figured I'd try a little bit of a different loading style where we'd take one of our TPU discs and put it in front of the Sabo to see if that would help shield it a little bit. And we also went ahead and added a watermelon just to see if we could hit it. Which obviously made no difference whatsoever. The PLA just shatters and explodes. The penetrator comes flying in with no fins on. That's an issue we're going to have to address drastically, and we missed the watermelon by a mile. You do get a cool shot of a smoke ring coming out of the cannon and part of the pedals, so obviously the pedals are holding together a little bit better, adding in that in the front, but it doesn't help the uh, penetrator at all. So at this point, we're just going to blow up the watermelon. Got a 10 ounce cannonball loaded up, and we're making some watermelon mist. 
It does smell like watermelon on the range. If you're curious, you can smell it up near the canyon just because of the, how uh, massive that watermelon explosion cloud is. So here's another angle of that. You can see the cannonball coming in. Watching that giant watermelon explosion. Just think that's super cool. You can see the cannonball flying in. And we're going to try adding some distance to our Sabos with these next shots. Maybe you see if that'll make a little bit of a difference. We're going to add that front disc in. And I also kept the rubber bands around the pedals this time to see if that would help. It does a little bit. You can see one of our pedals come flying in. So in just a second, I'm going to explain to you guys what I'm going to do in person for the next shot. Um, and this seems to be the best arrangement for loading these. Okay guys, so it looks like we're not having the world's best ability for these things to stay together. And when we slide them down the cannon, the uh, pedals want to slide off. So I went ahead and stuck a rubber band up at the top here to keep that from happening. So let's see if this helps them hold together a little longer in flight. Okay, so this style seems to work the best, keeping these arranged like this. Our pedals seem to stay together pretty well. You can see them flying by here in just a second. They stay together. Um, unfortunately, we still have to address the fins, but I think that's the best way to load up the Sabo itself and keep the pedals together um, to keep everything hopefully going the way it should. So here's a cool shot of the cannon coming up. I was hoping to get the pedals coming apart. It didn't quite work. Just got a really cool shot of the cannon. So I think this is the way that we'll do this. You can see on our next shot here, the pedals stay together. They bounce off the top of the car hood, and they're fully intact pedals. So I think this is the way that we'll load these in the future. We just got to work on the fin design and keeping everything together so it'll hold up for the pressure out of the cannon and work like it should. Well, guys, that was a fun one. I hope you enjoyed this little different style of video, little different editing style, some voiceovers and things like that. I hope it was fun to just kind of watch these Sabos kind of fly apart and things like that. But unfortunately, they didn't quite work exactly like we wanted them to. So if you guys have any ideas about how to improve these and maybe make them work a little better, please be sure to let me know. I'm going to be happy to take that under consideration and happy to print some more, happy to get these things working because I definitely want to get them working as well. Now, if you guys also have any ideas about things that you want to see a shoot out of the cannon or things that you want to see a shoot with the cannon, also drop those down in a comment below and let me know, or maybe some just some general questions about the cannon, let me know as well. And once again, guys, if you guys have anything that you want to send me to shoot out of the cannon, maybe make your own projectiles or anything like that, 38 millimeters, all of our information and contact stuff is also going to be in the uh, description below and beneath this video. I really do appreciate you guys hanging around till the end here. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Once again, guys, my name's Jonathan. This is my Canon, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Canon Year. <laughs>